All right, folks, day two of Week of Rivers. Kind of day three, but I guess Friday didn't count. I've got OG River King. Before there was River Kings, Kevin Ratliff, the main man. OG Kevin, and he's got his antics, and he's getting ready. I have the Alpha today, and Pete's obviously in his antics too. He loves the boat. We're doing something fun and different, something I've never done. And James Burleson, we owe it to you, your idea. Unfortunately, James had to go home this morning. Uh, his dog isn't doing well, so they had to bug out and they're missing their weekend here at Week Rivers. But we're gonna carry on in James's honor. And Trin's gonna join us. All right, folks, we have made it to the takeout of the Chioa. And who do I have here? None other than world famous Trin. Oh yeah. We're here at Bear Creek Falls. Looks really different with no water. One interesting note is that the creek line has a lot of water coming in to that rock. And I think it's going under that rock to where you normally bop, bop over. And you're on top of all that, it's not an issue. If you tried to run today, there's some undercut action going there, so I wouldn't suggest it. It still looks fun though. But we're gonna run this right side, the raft line. Come in on that. Drive, got a little boop under a rock. And then you wake your way out, so yeah. You see all the water coming out of that, uh, that sieve right there. All that water's coming out of under that rock. You gotta be real careful about stuff like that. We're gonna stay on the river right side here and then boot this line. If you get over here, that's fine too. You just need to get over it, but you're gonna boot this center line out. Looks fun. The forecast for this year's week of rivers was pretty dry. For the most part, the only rivers running were the standard dam release rivers, the Pigeon, the Nantahala, the Tuckasegee. The Chioa is one of my favorite rivers. And though it's been several years since I've been on a Chioa release, just saying the name brings back good memories. It seems like half a lifetime ago, Kevin and I were up here bombing it for the first time. And today, even though it's a reduced flow experience, I get to enjoy the river for the first time with P5.
so it begins. This is where it starts getting good. Nice putt. An elf run on the Chioa will not prepare a paddler for the release. But it was nice to see the river in a micro creaking sort of way. As elf runs go, this was a pretty good one. There was enough flow to get through almost everywhere, minimal scooching, and a lot of gradient and scenery changes. We knew this run may be a gamble, and so far, it was turning out pretty good. Things were starting to pick up as we approached Bear Creek Falls. Well, we gotta, we gotta kinda look at it now, bud. Make sure we're in the right spot. Am I on? in the middle then we go left Follow Kath. Eddie out. Very nice, bud. We're gonna go to the right of that booth, right onto the whale tail, then keep a right boat angle. Yeah. Yep, left stroke booth. Just follow me tight, bud.
very bottom, there's a there's a spot between rocks. If you can land in the water, great. If you can't, boof, just keep your momentum. Don't fall off of it sideways because you might fall down in there and it just it'll be annoying to you. So just drive whatever happens to you, but try to aim for that spot between the rocks. You good? And then uh, give me like 15 feet, 20 feet or something. Enough where I can turn around and look at you. Actually, just wait till I blow the whistle. Bear Creek Falls was a ton of fun, and after the falls, the river stayed busy, congested. There was a lot of gradient. The scenery was beautiful. I found myself pleasantly surprised by the fun I was having. P5 was really into it. And on a day when there was no other options except the same old, same old, this was definitely the answer. Next stop, Topoco Lodge and a rapid called Yard Sale. There you go. You good? <laughs> what happened there? Caught a weird edge. You good?
Very good, bud. That's a very good. Hey, Pete! Come straight! <laughs> yeah, that one's uh that's a that rapid right there, that whole thing becomes a thing. All right, folks, Elf Chioa, we think the level's around 115 to something like that. Last we saw, we're not sure we are gonna check it. it. Needs to be 300. If it had a little more water, it would be not even an Elf run, it would just be a low flow Chioa. You can't compare it to flow Chioa. It's totally a different beast. But if you want kind of like a tight micro creek kind of feel, that was like pretty good. On Elf runs, I'm gonna give that a nine for an Elf run. What do you think, Kev? Generous. What were you thinking? Seven, eight. He's giving it a seven. That's still pretty good. Pete, elf eight. run rating? Nine. Nine from Pete. I'll go eight. I'll split everybody. He said eight. So, yeah. If you're looking for something to do, now, granted, you need to know where you are in a couple places. Very important. You can get in trouble there. But for Elf Creek and, and nothing's running, I, I was impressed today. But have you elfed the Chioa? <laughs> All right, let's go for that too.
Yeah, go right behind Kevin. And we slid down the river for a second lap and a smoother lap. And on a day when nothing else was happening, we took a chance on a river that maybe was gonna work out and maybe was a bit low. And in the end, it was well worth it. Big thanks to James Burleson for the idea, the invitation, and organizing the trip. We only wish you could have joined us but we'll look forward to catching it with you next time. Feed out to the takeout, baby. <laughs> <laughs>